Hello and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me. This is That's Fancy. Monday night we play with new toys, fun things. Sometimes we make some fancy folds. Sometimes we uh, do something with some die cuts. All different things. Whatever, whatever is uh, you know on the menu each night is what we play with. So uh, thank you for coming along for the ride and joining me in this crafting adventure. So I am late, 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 late <laughs> getting started tonight. Uh, technology. Oh my. It's like my devices were having a fight over who would rule the Zoom meeting and then nobody wanted to go to Facebook and uh, yeah, you know, one of those nights. So uh, anyway, here I am. Let me just get a couple of things set up and we will get started. If you are um, joining me, coming on, say hello. Drop me a little message. Let me know that you're here. I don't know why it's not showing up. Maybe I'm not actually live on Facebook. <laughs> Let's see what I can get here. Uh, hmm. I don't see me on there. Let me go out and back in and maybe that will help things. Uh, I have a new message from Donna, she was probably wondering where the heck I am because I'm very late tonight, Donna. Okay, here, maybe this is it. Push this button, let's see what we get. Okay, I'm there. So I think uh, there's Donna. Hello, Donna. <laughs> I am on, oh good, oh my gosh. What a night getting ready for this one. You know, technology at its greatest yet again, but Anyway, we are ready to get started and uh, let's let's have some crafting fun. So I am just going to switch this down here. So for tonight, I thought we would have a little play with something from the Abstract Beauty Suite, which is in the new January to June mini catalog. And there are uh, all sorts of things in here. There's a uh, stamp set and dies. There are some uh, hexagon gems. Who ordered these? I don't have these yet. Need those. <laughs> there are, um, sorry, some uh, cards and envelopes. These are, you get 10 cards, uh, like card bases and uh, 10 envelopes in 10 different designs, 10 card bases and all No, one each of 10 designs. So it looks like there's 10 different card bases in that package. Uh, and they make a four by six card. So that is the same size as the memories and more cards. And then we have this little ephemera pack. It's all sorts of different paper embellishments if uh, that's what you're into. And then some designer series paper. I do not actually have a lot of this suite. What I do have are these dies and they are uh, here and they are over um, on this page as well. You can just kind of see them at the bottom here. They are called Beautiful Shapes dies. So that's probably enough of that. There's 14 dies in this package and I have put them on a black magnet sheet so that we can see them. So you have uh, four of these hexagons, three circles, and then you have three shapes that are cut and embossed. And then you have some different triangles and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hexagons <laughs> um, that cut little bits and pieces. So I did go ahead and cut, I cut some of everything and I thought, oh, just for fun, let's use primary colors. So everything in blue in here are all of the die cuts just individually as they cut. So let's see if I can get these all out. 
So you could probably, these are almost like, a, what was, isn't there a game where you have, or a, you know, kid's toy where you get all of these kinds of shapes and things and they use them to make pictures. And uh, I don't know, I kind of have a vague recollection of something like that from when I was younger. <laughs> but, okay. So we're all sticking together. So there are all of the shapes. Some of the dies, like this die, will cut two of these uh, in one pass through. And this shape is actually cut in half. So you get, <laughs> get paper sticking to your desk. You get two of those from this die. So you can use these to, to create different shapes. I, I haven't played with these yet. These are brand new. This is the first uh, time that I have used these. And so I have just, as I say, I just sort of cut everything out, thought we'd take a look at it and see what we decide to do. So after I did everything in the blue, I ran some things through with the red. And so what I did for these was I die cut them and I didn't do, I did two different uh, sizes of that. And then I let the, the centers cut on those. So, but you can just layer these and cut these and you can make it, you could cut it. Uh, we could do it, cut it like that. Oops. <laughs> well, you would make it straight. Well, you wouldn't have to make it straight, but then it would be wider or you could cut it like this and it's narrower. You can do it however you wish. So, and I did that with the circle. So this uh, Daffodil Delight circle is twice as wide. So it's the two circles there. So, so just a whole bunch of shapes. And uh, I thought we would just have a little bit of a play. Oops, a little bit of dirt in my container. So we have that too. <laughs> There we go. That's what I cut. We can cut other things. If uh, anyone has any ideas what you what you think I should do with all of this stuff now that I have it. <laughs> and I just pulled out um, plain basic white thick card bases because I thought there's lots of uh, color there. And then I thought, what about a layer? And I didn't really know what to do. So I have just pulled out <laughs> my pack of white layers. So I don't know uh, what you do with your crafting, but I keep a stack of uh, thick basic white uh, standard card bases. So these are all scored and cut and ready to use. And I just keep a stack of these handy. I'll take a, a whole pack of the thick basic white paper and cut it into card bases. And I do the same with the thick, very vanilla. And then I also uh, made layers of five and a quarter by four, which is not always a layer size that you use uh, in a basic white. You would often do a color next, but I do keep some of these around. So I just grab those and we can layer white on white, which <laughs> you can't really see, but see, there is two layers there. There you can see, and we'll pop it up with dimensionals or something. But I thought that we could work on a piece of basic white cardstock because there's such uh, intense color here. And hmm, now I've already die cut these, but I did pull out a few, um, I have some sentiments from special moments. Uh, so I got those ready to use. Now, of course, we have to see what they fit on and whether I have anything light colored that I can stamp on because <laughs> I don't know that it would show very well on the Pacific Point or the real red, but it certainly will show on the daffodil. And I happen to have my handy dandy little mini cut and emboss machine. So we can always die cut some more. That would almost fit on there. I didn't actually show you these pulls up. Can you see if we can see? Ooh, 
hard to get this stuff to focus and show. There's just, can you see that there is, there is actually some embossing on the edge of these uh, shapes. So on the sort of oval and the smaller oval and the squiggly circle, there we go. bit tough to see but there is embossing on that one as well so we have those okay so i will just try putting a sentiment right on here we'll get us started anyway and i think uh what do you think maybe pacific point hey eh? so. and this sentiment says for someone who is wonderful in each and every way <laughs> So it's uh, it's just a really generic sort of sentiment that you could put on a card for anybody, for uh, for any occasion. You could write a sentiment inside to make it whatever you like. So okay, Let's see if we got that centered right. Oh, now see, <laughs> primary colors. Here's your color mixing lesson for the day. So this is Pacific Point ink and on camera it still looks fairly dark in person it's gone almost a little bit um towards a turquoise color almost just a little bit because it's mixing with the yellow so of course blue and yellow make green which makes a turquoisey kind of blue there we go. That's your uh, that's your art lesson for today <laughs> because you know Art was never my big thing, so it's not like I'm an expert, but I do know a little bit about how colors mix. So, okay, so we will set that aside, and then then we're kind of ready to play. I was thinking, you know, you can. This is just the sort of thing that you could just, you know, layer some bits and pieces on, however you like. We one. The red one. We need another blue one. Another blue one. And then you could get into some of your uh, shapes, your like just these narrow pieces. Let me swap out. Uh, oh, can't put red down there, but I could put red up here. You know, I should just glue stuff down too shouldn't i just be bold take a chance but that guy and then uh maybe a solid piece i don't know oh we need somewhere to put this too don't we maybe we put this down here it's down here so many choices and then there's lots of little uh little bits that we could add as well we've got triangles and diamonds and I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stick some stuff down and we'll see how it goes. Okay, sure. What's the worst that can happen? We decide we don't really like it and we go back to the drawing board. These, uh, these hexagon dies though are something I want to do um, a scrapbook layout page with these because these will all of course these are different sizes so it won't work too well but um, these would all line up and connect and so i'm mixing and matching my sizing here but you could you know you could build all sorts of uh, really cool scrapbook layouts with these i think so that uh, that might be my next project with these, but that will take a little bit more time and a little bit more thought. So I'm not sure. I I might recreate it in one of these events, but I don't think I want to create it in one of these events. That would be would probably be kind of boring for you to watch, actually. So I will not uh, I will not bore you with that. But 
me, and I don't know, don't know how many of you are scrapbookers. I am not an avid scrapbooker, but I do enjoy doing scrapbook layouts. My problem is getting the pictures into them. A lot of people say that they, uh, you know, they love to scrapbook and everything, but they have trouble getting to the journaling and the journaling sort of holds them up and it's like, oh, I don't mind doing journaling. Uh, my problem is getting the pictures. <laughs> so I even know what to journal to start with, but uh, yes, I don't know that I want to connect that. I think I want to overlap it, don't I? What else do we want on here? Have, do I have anything that we want? Oh, a little guy, maybe a little yellow guy. Middle, maybe popped up. Oh, look, we have a few of these. Okay, so there's a blue. Do I have a red? I do have a red. Okay, so we could pop some of these up. That might be kind of neat and pop this up. I have a little yellow, I have a little yellow. I could do him out here and pop this up. Double layer, extra layers. How about a red circle for good luck? <laughs> Anybody have any suggestions? I'm open to suggestions. Now this is going to look really plain, isn't it? Put a, a diamond down in here. I don't know, it looks really busy, doesn't it? I think it's a little bit too much. A little too much going on. Too many layers over layers. Or something. I don't know. Don't I don't know. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. But I'm not not entirely convinced. <laughs> kind of fun to play with, but I'm not sure I like it for a card. <laughs> if I just do something Solid, another one of these blue guys. Maybe almost something like that, eh? Okay, I'm gonna stick this down and we will continue. We can probably fix it with gems, right? Gems fix everything. <laughs> we'll glue this guy down and then we'll start popping some things up, I think. Get a little dimension going here. Could have always embossed the back piece as well, but I don't know. I think uh, I should cut a whole bunch of these little ones and then we could make, make some sort of picture-y thing with them is kind of my thought. Stick these down and we'll see what we end up with. This guy. No. Maybe this will be a case of, uh, you know, stop before you go into complete overload. I'll just uh, can't even see if that's straight. Beauty of this is it's not a perfect oval, so <laughs> you can probably get away with a little bit more. That's almost not bad. Wonder if I could get what is the smallest? I think this is the smallest. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't quite. I could do another one of these in yellow, but I 
Hmm. I'm not sure. Or I could have left all of these, you know what, I could leave all of these things off and emboss this whole thing. That might be a bit of an interesting look. Hey, Terry, how are you? No worries about being late. I was late too. So <laughs> uh, it looks fine. Oh, well, okay, Donna, <laughs> stop here and just put it down. We're playing with the, uh, <laughs> the beautiful shapes dies. Terry, I don't know if you, uh, if you have these, or I'm sure you've seen them in the catalog, but these hexagons, I love these hexagons. And, uh, but I, I just got them and I hadn't played with them. And I thought, oh, let's just be brave and uh, play with them tonight, you know, live. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, so I just die cut a bunch of stuff and then I was trying to put it together. And then it was like, oh, maybe this isn't the best idea after all, <laughs> but, I'm doing it and we're going to put it together. So I've just used a white layer and a white card base because I've used primary colors, as you can see. And so everything is very bold colored. This might have been nice if I had embossed this background. That might have worked a little bit better. But this is kind of uh, kind of clean looking as well. So it's uh not all bad i'm thinking it uh might work okay anyway for this card it is what it is <laughs> because everything is now stuck to it so it's going to be this way so just to get a few more dimensionals onto there oh pulling them apart Kind of funny. So Terry, I think I saw a little bit of it. Oh, I didn't really hear, but hopefully you had a good flight uh, and, and you're now getting settled in <laughs> and the car is running. Yes, I hope the car is running. So um, and you're right, when you first uh, Get to a place there's always so many things to do isn't there grocery shopping is important though <laughs> gotta get people oh look i never really thought but i've done this landscape <laughs> which is okay never even thought to make it portrait but it's landscape so <laughs> there we go put that right onto there i think i like that popped up just gives it a little bit of lift it would be even better if it was straight. Let's see if I can fix it. This up a little bit. There we go. Oh, thanks, Terry. Yes, you know, when in doubt, go with primary colors, right? <laughs> nice, bold colors. Okay, now, probably should have a little bit of glitter or sparkle or something. And I, can you believe it? I got ready for tonight. I didn't even get out any gems. Wow. My fever must be insanely high. How could I possibly sit down to do crafting without having uh, all my buckets of gems handy. So we have gold. Oh, they might be nice. These are uh, gilded gems. Or I don't think we want things like these opals because that's introducing some other kind of funky colors. We've got polished dots, but they're pink and clear. I don't think we want those. So we probably don't want the iridescent rhinestones because they're kind of pinkish as well. We do have uh, these brushed metallic dots. They could work as well. So that's the brushed. These are the gold in the brushed. And that's these gilded gems are a uh, they don't look very gold on camera, do they? But they are a shiny gold. Kind of think shine. Bright and shiny. Or, oh, look. 
in the holiday rhinestones, what do we have here? Okay, so we've got, so this is cherry cobbler, that may not, it's not bad. This is Knight of Navy, but we don't have anything in the yellow. No, could do that, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> I think we're just gonna go with these because they were looking, they were the first ones that sort of caught my eye being all bright. So we will just put some of these. We have these gilded gems are, there's three sizes. So there's large, medium, and small. So let's, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna plunk a few of these on here. I like the gilded gems, but I really like the gilded gems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not quite sure about that, Terry. <laughs> Unless you just really like the gilded gems, right? <laughs> okay. And what do we think? Maybe on the red, in the middle? No. Mm. Why is it so hard sometimes to decide where you want to put your gems? We're gonna put it right there. There we go. Okay, you know what? That's kind of fun. <laughs> Trying to say that you're partial to the gilded gems and you use them a lot. Okay, now we, we've we kind of figured that you like them, yes. I do like them too. They are uh, They are lovely. They're just all nice and faceted and very shiny gold and, yeah, they're different than a lot of the others. So that's nice. Okay, so there we have a card. Um, I'm thinking if we use a bunch of these, we could make something. Not entirely sure what, but I need to grab some more cardstock. Anybody have uh, any favorite color requests? Donna, what's your favorite color? Terry, what's your favorite color? That'll be two. We could do it in two colors. Maybe we'll do three. We'll see. I'll get this out and get it ready. And I will grab some card stock. Pink. Donna likes pink. Terry, what do you want to go with pink? Uh, favorite color is red or orange. Okay. So let's see, do we have pink or red I was thinking uh, next week maybe we'll do uh, we'll do a, a color challenge night kind of thing for that's fancy. So uh, I'll be looking for three colors and then uh, we'll play with those and make some cards with it. So can you see this? If I move this out of my way, so here I have I've grabbed Blushing Bride, which is a pale pink and real red and those two absolutely go together. That's uh, that's a good look. But then I grab Calypso Coral. It's a little different, but I'm kind of thinking it might actually work. So. <laughs> okay, so Terry likes lots of colors, reds and pinks and oranges. and pinks and and who knows right don't make me decide it's it's too too many things to decide okay so i need to trim this guy because i have the little guy out and my paper won't fit in there so i need 
my paper to be about three and a quarter inches. And a quarter. There we go. I don't really need it this long, but <laughs> not even sure how long the uh, the plates are on this, but we'll do that. Okay, and we'll make this one three and a quarter, so it will go through, and we will trim off this guy. So let's do him. The hearts are. Nope. Okay. So there is some paper. And I am, oh, this is going to take a little while, isn't it? If I only use one shape, I get two of each. Well, let's give it a start and see where we go with it. This. So there's a couple pinks. We'll do a couple more quickly. I do. I don't. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I don't really know how many I need. But there's four pinks. We'll start with that. And then we will do, I could put something really bright in here too, couldn't I? Like some of our foil or something. I have lost my uh, brushed, I think it's the brushed gold and rose gold uh, paper that's in the annual catalog. It's little six by six pieces. And I know I have a package and I know it's somewhere, <laughs> but my six by six paper doesn't have, I have a drawer where I keep it, but it seems to come out and it gets moved around. And then my craft studio got kind of packed up and things got moved and it's not in the drawer that it would not, my six by six is in. And I'm not, not entirely sure where it is right now. So I'm trouble getting this to catch. Come on, baby. Push here. Need an extra hand. Okay. Okay, I'm almost done making you seasick. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. I have to do two more. Okay, so there's some red ones and we will do some Calypso coral just for good measure. This time, maybe I'll just use, uh, I could use white for the sentiment and we could punch it out. And that way I don't have to make you any more seasick trying to run a die cut through here. <laughs> or we could do a tiny sentiment in one of those circles. Figure that one out in a moment. All right, there we go. That's. <laughs> I don't know how many we need, but we're going to say that's enough. Get some of these things out of the way. Okay. So I'll move that guy up. So we're all we're all cockeyed now. Okay. So now I am thinking. Grab another. Grab a card base because we will need that at some point. I'll grab another piece of white uh, layer. So this is five and a quarter by four again. And then I'm thinking you could just 
make, you could connect these in some sort of a pattern and just build some kind of a picture or something and it wouldn't have to go everywhere. So we could touch two colors the same, throw in a red. They're calypso touching just because these things are, <laughs> they get sticky. And maybe another, then, then you get to the point of, hmm, where do I stop? Oh, look, it, we could do it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, mm. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't think I like all three of these. I'll put this guy out here. See, I'm just going to rearrange all sorts of things now. This is where you start to question what you've done and uh, how you're doing it and what makes sense. And I'm kind of thinking I don't want it to be a complete pattern. I don't know why, just just like that and a sentiment in there maybe, just for something different, something maybe fun, something weird and wonderful. Okay, maybe. Oh, and you know what? We could use, it's not an octagon, could use this or really, I should probably die cut a couple of these. If we did something like this, this is quite large, isn't it? You like that? Okay, I'm kind of liking it too, Terry. We could do this with a sentiment as a sentiment frame and this for, for the sentiment. I would need to find a different shaped sentiment, I think, than what I have. What do I have? I have this. Uh, it's so much easier to read if I look at the stamp case, which I've now buried under all my gems. Uh, just a card to say you're amazing, but I don't think, I think, no, it's a little bit too big to fit in that one. And if we do this one, then we have quite a large center. That might work though if we move all of this out over here a little bit. Don't lose the pattern. <laughs> wow. <laughs> These things are not as easy to play with as you would think they would be. They don't slide on the paper that well. I mean, certainly not when you're trying to hold some and move some. Kind of like that. And then there would be a little more room for a big sentiment. Okay. And that would mean this goes into this one and it will fit in there. Okay. Let's, let's try that because I also have this lovely square cardstock right here. Now, uh, what color shall we stamp that in? Maybe in real red and border it in real red. We could even, okay, let's do real red. To find real red, there we go. I don't want this to move. <laughs> so we're just gonna slide that over there, bring this up in here and get it stamped. I'm just going to plunk that right in the middle. Hey, Sarah, <laughs> welcome. I think you're up really early. <laughs> 8.30, maybe not too bad. Somewhat early. Gl Glad you are here though. We are playing with the beautiful shapes dies and uh, we're really kind of winging it tonight <laughs> because I just got these and I haven't had a chance to play with them and I wanted to. So that became 
<laughs> tonight's adventure. So we're working on um, this card up here. We've got a, a whole bunch of the little hexagons and I am just going to cut this because yes, that will fit in there. And you know what, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut this in real red and I'm gonna do it on the big machine because I can do it all at once, ladies. So talk amongst yourselves, I will be right back. Or you can talk to me, I'm just far away. I can't see your, I can't see what you're saying to me right now. So, so you can say anything you want. Here we go. Okay, if I could get them off of here, it would work well. Okay, there, one, one, one's through the die cut. So this will go on here. This is, uh, these, this is really nice layering stuff too, <laughs> just in general, so. Oh, it's midday there? I will never figure out the time difference. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, see, Sarah, you, Sarah has these dies and she hasn't had a chance to play with them either. So at some point we, we all need to uh, play with these and share. I haven't actually even looked online to see what people might be sharing with these dies yet, but I love the shape. So I just knew I had to have them. <laughs> And here they are. Now I have them. So here we go. Still trying to figure out math. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, you know, we just uh, we look at a chart. Donna, um, you may or may not be aware. Sarah is in Australia, which is why we can never figure out what time it is for her. And uh, <laughs> we have. Uh, so far, we have a bunch of my demonstrator friends on here, and Donna, um, Terry, and Sarah are the other two demonstrators that I'm working with for the online global retreat. So you will get to see them and meet them on Zoom a little bit more in person um, on the 12th. So, ah, you thought so. Yes, you've probably heard me mention those names, haven't you? So, yes. Uh, we have been, we have been working on, on getting this all together. And so, yes, you will, you will see more from them, see more of them and hear more from them and uh, see their make it takes and all sorts of fun things. So, okay. And see, I'm Filling that in, everything is different there. Time, temperature, card sizes, yes. Sarah's had to help us with a lot of conversions. Um, and while we, uh, while Terry and I uh, meet with her and we've got our sweaters on, uh, Sarah's telling us how hot and humid it is and the air AC in her, her place isn't working terrific today. <laughs> it's like, Okay, it's just uh, just kind of crazy. <laughs> yes, good thing we have Google. That's right, Mr. Google tells us uh, what time it is and uh, how we need to convert things. And so, Donna, I don't know whether you know or not, but we have learned that uh, the card sizes are different. The card base is a different size. So, um, that's uh, um, one of the things that we've had to take into account as we've done our make and takes and stuff is that everything needs to get changed in size. So can I use my tablet for Zoom? Yes, right now I have, I'm not doing a good job at gluing that. <laughs> I have um, my tablet, my laptop and my phone are all connected to Zoom. And my phone, which is this guy, uh, this guy, <laughs> the camera that I'm using is, um, that's on Zoom. 
and my laptop is on Zoom, so I can see my laptop and I can see what I'm doing. And then I have my Facebook up on my tablet. So even though my tablet is connected to Zoom, I'm not looking at Zoom on my tablet uh, because I use that device for Facebook to see, to see your comments and things. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not sure that's exactly where I wanted it, but that's where it is because it's all glued down now. <laughs> so that's how it's going to be. So here's the next question. Um, I could take this right now and I could run it through the embossing, the uh, cut and emboss machine and emboss this whole thing thing. Did you just do, I used to do that a lot to make cards that looked kind of like they were quilted and things. But what do you think? Should we do that? Let's give that a try. I just need, we need to figure out what embossing folder. I need a full size one. So let's, let's see what we've got. We have bark. That might be a little bit big texture we've got paint that might be that one might work do it okay sarah i'm doing it <laughs> uh timber oh we could do hive which is kind of <laughs> kind of like <laughs> what uh what a little bit towards it's almost a pebble it almost looks like it's pebbly but some of these are Definitely hexagons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, they have where you can count sides. It's hard to count sides on some of these things on here, but we have that one. Uh, gingham, I don't know. And I don't know that we want any of these flourishy, flowery things. I don't think we want trees. These are little, probably not seashells. We could do bricks, but okay, so let's. Here's, here's the, the choices. We could do painted texture or hive. What do we think? Anybody have any thoughts, any ideas while I try to fix, and if we emboss it, that might hide this little bit of white space that I got here. Oh, look, I'm kind of pushing it out. Okay. No thoughts, nobody has a vote. We'll do hive. It's kind of like, kind of like what we want. So when you are uh, uh, either, I'm not a help. Well, thanks a bunch, Terry. <laughs> um, when you have an embossing folder and you've got something on one side and you want to know which side you're supposed to do where, um, the Stampin' Up logo, whoops, Stampin' Up logo side is the intended top. Um, you don't ever have to use it that way. Obviously, it's your choice. But when they design these, they have something in mind. And then the back always works as well. So the Stampin' Up! logo is on the intended top. So let's just run this guy through the way Stampin' Up! was kind of sort of thinking. So I'm going to run this through. And I need the big machine. So I'll be right back again. Don't anybody leave. <laughs> Is a little bit tougher to run through because it's an extra layer, but it certainly does go through. Okay. Oh, can you see this? What's that? Kind of an interesting look. I I tend to use this one the other way around. I like the look of of these raised sort of dots. I know it's not a beehive look, but um, I do like it. But this will work as well. This is what we're doing. So, okay, move all of these things. <laughs> Your dog is on you too. Oh, good grief, Donna. You, you, have, uh, you have it all going on, don't you? <laughs> okay. So let's 
put this. What happened to the card base? Here's the card base. Give this guy a fold. There we go. And oh, now look, I've done this one landscape again. That's okay. It's a landscape kind of night. <laughs> Which is, uh, they're supervising. Oh, okay. Yes. We always need supervision, don't we? My cats, uh, my cats can't get into the craft studio, so they don't supervise me here, but they certainly do if I'm near them. Okay. And I'm putting a good quantity of glue on this because it was, uh, it warped just a little when I ran it through the embossing machine, I think because it's thicker than usual. So you can, I don't know whether you can see or not. Yeah. It's just a little bent up. So lots of glue will straighten it down. Oh, I was supposed to pop it up, wasn't I? Well, guess what? This one's going on flat, <laughs> but it's embossed. So I think it will be okay. Oh, good memory, but short. What can I say? Yes. Okay, let's see. We will pop up the sentiment. We go get some dimensionals going on this baby. Go. And up to my thumb. Okay, so what do we think? I think right about, I put it over here a little bit further and there's a little bit more white there and I think that might work. So it's a little lower here than it is up there, but you know, it's a handmade card. So, <laughs> okay. And what do we think? We use some more of these gilded gems because they would go on here as well, wouldn't they? Yes, I think so. Let's just, we'll just have a gilded gem kind of night. I wonder, I'm not sure how well they will stick to this embossed area though. So perhaps we will just put them onto the sentiment part. We use maybe a big one and a couple little guys for this card, just to be different. There we go. Okay, you know what? I have to say, <laughs> I'm loving these dies. <laughs> oh, thanks, Terry. <laughs> It is kind of cute, isn't it? It's something a little different than some of them here. And look, look, leftover bits. <laughs> I can do more. So there's uh, there's just a couple of ideas and some playing around with the beautiful shapes dies that are brand new. And uh, I'm gonna say kind of fun. <laughs> I'm sort of liking them. But, oh, look, I'm crooked again. It's an, a crooked kind of night. What can we say? So, yes, I will, uh, I'll play with these. There may be some more things that show up on my blog post, but for sure, I'm going to use the larger version of these and do a scrapbook layout because, because that was what I saw. As soon as I saw these dies, it was like, oh, this would make a beautiful scrapbook layout. Even something kind of like that. So anyway, okay, I like it. I hope you like it. Let me add me back to the picture, add spotlight. There we go. Look okay. it, we're both back, <laughs> the cards and I. <laughs> you guys were here all the time, so. Uh, okay, oh, well, you're very welcome. I love to share creativity, yes. So um, that's kind of, how fancy we're going to get tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. I'm glad you like the cards. And uh, you should, uh, I think everybody needs to order these dies if you don't have them. Sarah, I think you need to get them out and play with them. And then you can show me what you do so that I have more ideas. And uh, 
we will just have some good hexagon fun in the future. But these are awesome dice. They are incredibly versatile. I can tell that already that they are uh, just going to be great for doing all sorts of things. So um, definitely add these to your wish list and uh, get them get them on your next order. Alrighty. Uh, so maybe I'll put something up on Facebook, but if we're going to do a color challenge next Monday, look, there's, uh, there's three people still on here commenting. So, uh, if everybody gives me a color, that could be the three colors for next Monday for a color challenge night. And I might even make some cards in advance if you give me tricky colors. <laughs> okay. Purple. Oh. Oh gosh, Sarah picked purple. <laughs> We've already established that uh, Sarah's favorite color is purple. So, okay. Uh, when you say purple, Sarah, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, Fresh Freesia, Blackberry Bliss. You wanna, I will even let you pick a Stampin' Up! color to be the color. Uh, Donna wants a peach, like the, um, oh, what did I get on here? This was my card stock. Okay, I think we're okay, because we're not using that anyway. Oh, I seem to have water here. Okay, we're good. No worries. Okay, uh, sorry. Um, uh, pale papaya. That's what I'm trying to think of, Donna, uh, which is kind of that a peachy color, isn't it? Uh, here, this color, just a little smidge of, that's pale papaya. That's kind of peach. Okay. Any of them, I love them all, whatever works with whatever the other colors are. Oh, but this is your chance to make it really tough. <laughs> And they don't have to go together. That's the challenge that we have to make them go together. <laughs> so we're going to do pale papaya. Okay. And uh, purple. And okay. Pick, get, what's, uh, give me, what's your, how about this? What's your favorite number, Terry? Or give me a number, Blackberry Bliss or Gorgeous Grape. Okay. Black Bliss or Gorgeous Grape. Okay. I need, I need a number between one and however many colors we have from Terry. 19. Okay. I'm going to my drawer and I'm going to count my 19 colors. <laughs> which is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh, well, 19. You're gonna be really happy, it's real red. <laughs> so nobody knows how I have my cardstock set up, but, uh, <laughs> I just counted back 19 folders. And uh, okay, so we've got pale papaya, uh, blackberry bliss or gorgeous grape and real red. And I'll pick whichever purple goes best with those other two colors, pale papaya and real red. Those are easy. Uh, but uh, anyway, that'll be some fun. Okay, so that's next Monday. So uh, come back and join me next Monday for a color challenge with three colors that we just sort of randomly threw together. It will all work because it always does. And uh, so we'll see. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the cards, like the, uh, the beautiful shapes set with all those lovely hexagons. And we will see you all uh, next Oh, yes. Not next Monday, Sarah. I'll see you next Tuesday, maybe. <laughs> have a great day. And Sarah and everybody else have a great rest of the evening. <laughs> Bye for now.